So I am here finally at the Muriel project and I would like to introduce you to Sky Sheridan who invited me here and uh, I wanted to ask you a few questions about how this project came into your mind and how did you start this and what was the motive behind it Yeah so well, we originally had an idea of doing a mural and then we decided that we would try to do something a little bit more around agriculture because we were trying to like drive this narrative of sustainability and agripreneurship and we thought you know this would be a good way of doing that and taking a uh, instead of painting on the wall doing something living because we see this in New York and also in LA a lot of uh, places are greenifying their walls and so we decided to take this direction instead that's great <laughs> and so how did, if this idea was there and how did you put it in uh, like a practical manner like how did you collaborate with the Mlet Info Poland as well as uh, how did you initially begin it yeah so um, I got called in to um, consult on this and to figure out how we could bring these things together and it took a lot of uh, designing obviously pre-production I've been here for a month now oh my god right before this project yeah really getting the things that it's actually um It just takes a lot of pre-production in your And so, uh, as we look around and as we see here, that what were the materials and what were the products which were used in this? Uh, for example, I see bottle and I think uh, as far as I know, these are the milk bottles used mm -hmm. in it. So, what was the idea behind it how did you come to come to this conclusion that you want to build something like this out of a bottle or? yeah yeah well that's kind of interesting because like um sustainability is all about doing more with less right and, and not consuming so much and making taking and consuming so we really wanted to build in we had a very um i guess reserve budget and didn't want to buy materials and stuff so we thought like, let's go to the local municipality and see what kind of materials we can get recycled materials pallets that were being thrown away wood that was being thrown away and so actually the kids went and go and they collected these bottles oh, right. not kids or youth you collected <laughs> the bottles and uh and uh then made these strawberry plants which was really cool um based off of the schematics that i gave them and then we went to go find some pallets and decided to pull them apart and use the design and it was really cool yesterday when the kids were building um that they just came up with pulling the windows out and they took this uh, design they saw and just went with it so yeah it's so super simple and easy to make these things into planters of course we here have flowers you can do food you can do food systems and i was really trying to just show them how they could grow food in some of these ways too like against the wall or to repurpose empty space into places where you can grow food and yes yeah, so that's kind of how that started and um here we have like jeans this is more of an art piece because we were trying to this make is it, beautiful <laughs> yeah we were trying to make this into um you know something fun for the youth also obviously so it was artistic and creative and i think this is the favorite piece of okay so you can tell us about like the real motive of this whole program you know mm -hmm. it's very important for the watchers to know that uh, it's Like, uh, why we are doing all these flowers there. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you a little bit about this thing, because this was actually the, the youth are so superstars because they came up with this idea and we were all laughing because it was originally going to become a, this was supposed to go on the wall. This is a felt piece that actually, and you can get them very large, mm -hmm. and it was going to be a, a big wall mural, which would have um, been much more labor intensive. So instead we got this smaller guy, we didn't really know what we were going to do with it, and then... Um, some of our youth said, like, let's put it on a pallet, we turned this pallet, and then they even got even more creative and wanted to turn it into a bench, and then the bench became, well, as you see now, like, the seven kingdoms coming together. But, um, yeah, and the overall project really was just to teach, um, 
This week has really been about the youth understanding options in agriculture. So uh, there are little incentives at the moment to, uh, for people to start farming. It was one of the questions we asked in the very beginning of the workshop was like, what is keeping you from farming? Like why everyone's super jazzed about farming and agriculture, mm -hmm. but no one's really doing it, especially the youth are kind of detached from farming. And, and so what we're trying to do is really inspire people to find the incentives to put farms locally, to go home and just grow up. Uh, seed jars on their thing just to experiment with what it's like to grow because it's such a beautiful thing as a human being to be able to produce your own resources, you know, and not have to depend on other people. So this is really the outcome of the project is getting people to think more locally, getting the youth to be more um, engaged in agriculture and hopefully, you know, coming up with ideas of their own. We gave them several ideas and a lot of them are going to take these back to their, their countries and they're going to inform their friends and maybe even build them. We had one person, uh, the ones who did the pallet over there, she wants to sell these actually at her oh, home. Wow. Yeah, so um, it's just inspiring a lot of um, entrepreneurship as well. So maybe a little bit, little message for the watchers, I mean like some Yes, of course, so, yes. Get, you, you know? get involved in your local community. It's the best thing you can do. Get involved in sustainability. There's so many places you can get into it. It's technology. It's fun. There's so many ways. So join us on the journey, and you can help make 2030 a place where we not only go to Mars, but we make the Earth a better place, too.